So in this tutorial, I'm basically going to create a refraction effect in After Effects. So basically like a cheat glass effect. So um, I've got this uh, grass background, but first I'm going to create a new composition. Uh, 720p, 99 frames, that's fine. And I'm just going to drop in my background. And I'm just going to scale it down slightly. So uh, I chose this background because basically it's good for uh, kind of showing off reflection and refraction. So I'm just going to create some text. I'm just going to write quick VFX. And I'm just using the impact font because it's quite thick. I'm just going to separate the letters slightly and I'm going to go to um, optical separation, which is quite a nice setting because it basically uh, separates the letters in a way that look pleasing to the eye. So I've got this layer, uh, looks all right. I'm just going to close this paragraph bit here. I'm going to hit Y and I'm going to center the anchor right in the middle. And I'm just going to click on my cursor again. I'm going to du duplicate this. And the second one I'm going to call mask because I'm going to use this to mask uh, the adjustment layer I'm just about to create. The adjustment layer I'm going to call Displace. So what I'm going to do is, in the adjustment layer, I'm just going to add um, a generate fill just so I can see it. And then I'm going to mask the Displace to the uh, text layer. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to choose alpha matte mask so now I can see basically my adjustment layer is masked to the shape of my text the text that I duplicated and I'm just gonna attach my mask to the displace parent my mask to the displace layer and one thing I want to make sure is that my mask all these three layers kind of move together so I'm just going to mask the displace to quick VFX. That's looking all right. So this is basically my master control. Everything moves with this. Now, in my adjustment layer, I'm just going to turn off the fill because that's not, not what I'm going to use. I'm going to go to effect and uh, distort and displacement map. And I'm just going to hide my main quick VFX text layer. And in my displace uh, adjustment layer, I've got the displacement map. I'm going to use um, the background layer, so the grass wallpaper. And I'm just going to increase the displacement so you can see it kind of moving. You can see a kind of outline of the text. Wrap pixels around, that's fine. And Instead of red, I'm going to choose full. So it basically takes into, into account all the pixels. It doesn't look for any kind of red channels or anything, just the full uh, background. And that just gives you kind of a straightforward displacement. Actually, maybe I don't want to expand it. Tile map. Anyway, so choose like a setting that makes it look like it's kind of refracting roughly. And if I move my main layer, whoops, let's go to P. Basically, everything moves with it. So I'm just going to turn my main layer back on, and I actually want this at the top above the displacement map so I'm just gonna yep check that that check that's uh, overlapping perfectly so what I want to do is here I want to add uh, layer styles bevel and emboss now if you go to blending options and go to advanced blending you can actually turn off the fill opacity so all that remains is like the bevel effect, which is quite cool. 
So just turn that fill opacity down to zero. And um, I can, I'm just going to open my bevel and emboss setting here. And you can play about with the kind of uh, angle of the bevel. And if you uh, 147 and 73 degrees gives you kind of quite a good glass effect. So I'm just going to play with these settings, size, uh, that's all right there, soften, you can soften it slightly. And I'm just going to add another uh, satin layer maybe. Go to my satin, I'm going to make it white, blend mode, linear dodge. Just try and get it looking a bit glossier. And I'm just going to turn down the opacity. There we go. And as you can see, that's kind of refracting the background as well. If you hit uh, Control Shift H, that just hides all the kind of control handles and stuff. So you can see your uh, effect a lot better. So as you can see, that's kind of. Maybe you could adjust it a bit more. Um, Let's have a look. I'll just play about with the settings. Um, maybe the red will look better. Let's have a look. I think um, the settings are too high. I'm just going to go for a 22, 22. See what that does. Make sure you lock kind of layers so you don't accidentally select them. So actually that looks a bit better. Then we can just keep adding effects, uh, maybe a stroke on the outline. Um, make it white. One pixels and I'm just going to turn down the opacity just to give it a slight uh, kind of backlight effect. And then I can obviously um, duplicate this layer. Parent it to quick VFX. Just make sure it's And then um, I can get to work on this uh, second duplicated layer. Change the bevel settings maybe for this layer. Add like a secondary kind of bevel inside of it. Uh, I might turn off satin for this layer. And then um, I might add a drop shadow. Maybe not. Make, make the drop shadow white and choose a linear dodge. That's basically an outer glow. But so it's just from here on, it's just a matter of playing with the settings, trying to get a good result. Hmm. I can test the refraction here because this uh, strand of uh, grass is a good guide. It's going to go by. I'm just going to go back to my displays. Can delete this fill now. Let's have a look. Full. Full. Yeah. So I think that is a good refraction actually. About there. So basically, it's just kind of. Don't like that outer glow. Drop shadow. And I can go to my layer styles, blending options. I can turn um, some of the fill back on. Just to give, give it a kind of tint, except I don't want a red. Choose some of the background. give it a kind of slight frosted effect like that. So yeah, there you go. It's quite a... looks more plastic than glass, but um, 
that's kind of basic uh, effect and uh, spend some time on it you can get probably a lot better results than this one but um, I think it's good for a kind of quick glass effect animated glass effect so uh, that's the end of the tutorial and uh, thanks for watching